nothing but a low class white trash. She probably didn't even finish high school. Girl, you know, uh, that's, uh, what uh, that's what he left me for. See, I always thought Pupa was the ideal husband, girl. You can never tell. They are all dogs. I promise you, they're all dogs. Yeah, right. what? Oh. We wanted to start dating white men. Stop it, Joe. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, no, it's true. I'm not dating no white men. There ain't no good black men out there. Oh, yeah, they, they are. are. They are. Oh, Most of them are drug addicts in jail. Husbands. The good ones know they didn't stop, so they got ten women at a time, leaving babies all over the place. My marriage is wrecked. It's mm -hmm. fouled up. The man is gone. He's loving some white witch, and I still believe there's good black men. Huh? Where? Where? And the options? What are the options? You know what the you options know. are? Be gay. Or see somebody who likes you no matter what, Chinese, black, white, or whatever. Wrong, Hilda. You're wrong as the day is long. They're out there. The problem is we're looking in the wrong places. Uh -uh. We're looking someplace. I don't know where we're looking, but we're not looking at bus drivers or truck drivers or garbage men. And a lot of them are doing that. And we just won't give them the time of day. Uh -huh. Kenya Moore recently came out and made some very disturbing comments towards black men. And there's been a lot of brothers out here that have been making videos and people been talking about it in the barbershops and, you know, just, just everywhere. Brothers really been talking about uh, her statements towards black men. And a lot of, you know, brothers be drooling over Kenya Moore. I mean, yeah, she's attractive, but I seen better. <laughs> that, that's just me. I'm not going to be, you know, crawling on my knees to fuck this chick. <laughs> I'm going to just be honest. You know, I, I've seen a lot better. But I'm going to read uh, a quote that she said. In an interview, in quotes, for black women, we just have to be open because there's not a lot of eligible bachelors that are black for us to choose from anymore. If you take away the ones that are gay in jail, this is a real issue. Statistics show why we don't have the choices. You take the ones that are gay in jail, don't have a job, the ones that are already married and the ones that are dating and marrying outside our race, what do you have left? You don't have much to choose from. The nicest thing is that you have options. So, you know, <laughs> a lot of brothers been, uh, you know, upset about this. And, you know, I, I think one of the reasons why I kind of amped it up too, because I mean, this is something that a lot of, you know, those women, those black women who, are not informed about the world that we live in. Uh, those black women that like to blame black men for all their downfalls, whether it's them being uh, a single mother with, with no help, whether it's uh, them having, you know, bad relationships or marriages or men that just dog them out. A lot of times women, women in general, I just don't want to, you know, uh, categorize this to black women, but it is black women that I'm going to have to address in this video. But women in general don't like to take responsibility for things. A lot of times, you know, they'll do and say things and say, well, you made me emotional or I'm a woman and these are my feelings. You know, that's just women, you know. They don't like to take responsibility for a lot of things. And, you know, Kenya Moore is not saying anything new. We, we've, we've heard this a lot from, uh, you know, black women who um, are very ignorant about black men out here. And, First of all, I, I think Kenya Moore is being a, you know, a self-hating bitch for basically generalizing all black men or basically talking in absolutes. And a lot of people might say, well, she wasn't talking about all black men because, you know, people always like to throw that out. But when you are being quoted, and this is why I say this with, uh, you know, whether you're doing YouTube videos, whether you're in a magazine, whether you're doing interviews. You always have to put that disclaimer out there because you have people who are not familiar with your videos that are not familiar with you as a person or your thoughts or your opinions on things that are going to basically say you're talking about all because they don't know you. They don't know you from nothing. So when, when you make statements like this, you do have to put that disclaimer out there. Whether you like doing it or not, you have to do that. I do that in my videos when I'm talking about a particular thing. But Kenya Moore basically just, you know, uh, you know, slammed all black men. And I think that, you know, what she fails to realize is that when, if you're going to talk about gay black men, if you're going to talk about black men not having jobs, if you're going to talk about black men uh, being in jail. Let's talk about why 
those statistics are very high. First of all, black men are systematically cast out of the work field. It doesn't matter whether you don't have a high school diploma, whether you just have a high school diploma, whether you went to college, you're a college grad. It is a lot harder for black men to climb up that ladder because of the fear of us helping out our own or the fear of us gaining some type of power. That's why a lot of times they'll have a lot of these token brothers that are in these positions that, you know, they, they want them to tap dance. Or they want them to speak and sound and have a certain mindset, mindset, excuse me, so that they don't help out other brothers and pull them up the ladder. Okay. They will easily let a black woman into the corporate world because they feel like black women are less threatening. They feel like the black woman can be controlled. And I see it every day when I go to work. You know, I I, I work quote unquote in the you know the corporate world. I'm within the um the, the music industry, but it's considered the corporate world. And I see how a lot of black women are, are being um pushed up into the, the the company because they're less fear. And when they see a black man like me, I'm a threat. Every day I get certain looks, you know, certain gestures, whether it's from white men that have a position uh, under me, whether it's from white women, whether it's from uh, my other counterparts, et cetera, et cetera, because I'm a black man in a certain type of position. Am I a head high tancho? No, but I do have a very powerful position. So this is very threatening to America and society as a whole. Now let's talk about black men being in jail. Black men are also targeted for the prison industrial complex. We get charged a lot quicker and, 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 and get hit with football numbers for first offenses. Why do you think the police department go out and target these young brothers? They, or they like to blame hip hop and everything or say this gangster rap music is the reason why black men are doing this or, or basically targeting these rappers. Because they hate the fact that these guys are making money. They hate the fact that you might be, you know, a brother that's on a straight nail. You're going to college. You're doing your thing. You're holding down a steady job. Maybe you're not making a lot of bank, but you're holding down a steady job. You're being a productive citizen. And they want to destroy that. They want to take black men out of the homes. They want to throw you in a prison industrial complex so you can work for 35 cents a day making stupid ass license plates. While they profit and make millions of dollars off of you. So these are things that contribute to a lot of these situations to why a lot of black men in these situations. But this is not all black men. And to sit back and say, you know, and make a broad generalization like that, like black men, you know, all, all we want to do is, you know, date white women or, um, you know, we're all locked up or we're gay or et cetera, et cetera. Is an ignorant ass statement. And it basically shows not only her disloyalty to the black community, but it shows self hatred. And if we look at Kenya Moore's, you know, past, and we pull up her resume, she's she's money hungry. She's a money hungry bitch. This is the same woman who chases after millionaires. Maybe that's why you have failed relationships, or you can't find quality black men because you're judging black men off of their bank account. And I've made several videos out here talking to my sister saying, don't judge a man because he has his own house or, you know, he, he has a certain type of call. He has a certain type of income and you think he's a great catcher. He's the man for you because of material possessions or a certain type of income. Because what you have to realize is that just because that man has those things doesn't mean he's willing to share with you. Doesn't mean that you're worthy of him sharing it with you. And a lot of black women, you know, throughout the last, I say, especially the last 30, 40 years, you know, have really thrown a lot of brothers under the bus, whether it's been going on these talk shows, you know, Ricky Lake, Jenny John, all these different talk shows downgrading the black men. Whether it's these women on Mari talking about you, the baby daddy and talking about, oh, yeah, well, he has your ears. Look at his eyes. His eyes are just like you. Then didn't Mari read the goddamn results. And it's in, the man ain't even uh, the child's father. But yet they're hollering up and down and blame the black men for everything that's going on in their life. 
And like I said before, plenty of my previous videos, there's a lot of good black brothers out here. There's, there's men who get up in the morning, go to work, bust their ass, want to love the black woman, want to create a family, want to do right by his family. But a lot of times these men are overlooked because you have a lot of black women out here who have either a, a self-absorbed or egotistic mindset that feel like, oh, well, you know, I have this type of degree or I'm making this amount of money or I have this position. So if my man is not doing what I'm doing or doing more, preferably more than what I'm doing, I don't want to give that man a time of day. I don't want to give the man that might be the manager at, uh, at McDonald's. OK, I don't want to give the garbage man the time of day. I don't want to give that brother that, you know, is busting his ass every day in the warehouse. I don't want to give those brothers the type of any time of day because they're not up to my standards. And a lot of these black women out here, you know, they, they deal with self-hatred. They deal with not loving themselves. They deal with not wanting to take responsibility for their wrongdoing and their actions, and they go out and they lash out against black men. Now, I'm not saying we don't have any, you know, trifling brothers out here that don't want to take care of responsibility or get to a certain position and feel like they need a white woman. I'm not saying we don't have those brothers, but that's a very small percentage. And a lot of these brothers that you see doing that, you guys put these guys on a certain statue because they're professional athletes or, you know, they're in some type of, of uh position of entertainment because you guys put those those men up at, at a higher level simply because of their income but you you look over men that have integrity have character about themselves are hard working want to take care of their family want a black woman on their arm want to be a provider want to take care of their children you look over those men because they don't have certain material possessions that you quote unquote require or they're not bringing a certain amount of income. And this has been a serious problem with a lot of black women within, you know, our community. And this is not all black women. You know, I have to put that disclaimer out there because it's a lot of black women that are up on their game and they respect decent black men out here and black men that stand up and take care of their responsibility and are good men. But we also have those bitter black women out here that want to blame everybody for this situation besides themselves. And that's why I don't feed into the whole, you know, nice guy, bad boy thing, because I think that a lot of women out here, you know, are just immature, don't know what they want. So they go after those bad guys. And a lot of the quote unquote nice guys out here get offended by that because they have their own issues they're dealing with. And they feel like they should be the cream of the crop. Not realizing that. These women are painting a picture for you. And that's why I tell my brothers out here, don't fall into, oh, well, I, I'm, I'm a sad, nice guy. No women like me. Or they want the bad boy. They want the thug. These women are letting you know what they're on. So if you're a nice guy, you know you're a man that takes care of his responsibility. You're a good-hearted man. Why would you want to deal with a woman that chooses to pick a bad boy or a quote-unquote thug? So that's something that a lot of my brothers out here have to wake up on. The picture is always painting for you. Just a lot of times we're blinded by sex and we're blinded by superficial things that we don't open our eyes and understand what we're actually dealing with. And I think Kenya Moore, you know, needs a boot straight up her ass for making these type of comments. And a lot of these sisters out here, y'all got to wake the fuck up. Y'all got to understand that it is good men out here that take care of their responsibilities. It's not, you know, a, a mysterious thing for a man to be good, be hardworking, be a man that has character and integrity, respectful, and want to take care of his family. That's not something that's in the past or as if that doesn't exist anymore. There's a lot of brothers out here that are everything you women want, want in a man, but you overlook them. He's not tall enough, or he doesn't have a six pack, or he doesn't make this amount of money, or you know, he's too dark, or he's not dark enough. Y'all gonna wake the hell up and sit back and understand the type of decisions that you guys are making, and understand that a lot of there's a lot of good men out here that you guys are overlooking for superficial reasons. 
But to Kenya Moore, wake the fuck up. Look in the mirror and understand that you are still a part of the black community. Look in the mirror and understand the decisions and the wrongdoing that you have done to cause a lot of your situations. Understand the society that we live in, which causes a lot of our brothers to be systematically cast out of the work field or end up behind bars. Understand the overall picture before you make generalizations about the black man. That's all I got to say. If you guys want to give me your feedback, do so. Wake the fuck up.